Welcome to our Rising Ninth Grade Parent Night presentation. We are so excited to welcome our Rising Ninth Graders Class of 2025. First thing we would like you to know is our administration that we have here at Winder Barrow High School. We have Mr. Derek Maxwell, who is our principal. We have Mr. Craig Martin, our assistant principal curriculum and instruction. Mr. Jarrett Noblet, assistant principal and our athletic director. We have Miss Jessica Rayberg, assistant principal of curriculum and instruction, and Miss Barbara Smith, assistant principal of attendance and student services. Meet Mr. Maxwell. He is our principal and throughout your high schoolers career, they will see a lot of Mr. Max Maxwell in the hallways, in classrooms, potentially having meetings with him. They will get to know him really well and so will you. This is our counseling department. We have four high school school counselors, Mr. Corey Peppers, who um, has students last names A through E. We have Miss Angelia Bruce, last names F through K. Miss Granada Watson, last names L through Q. Miss Akua Nelson, last names R through Z. And I'm Miss Mantha Dean. I'm a school counseling intern that will be here um, for the next year working with students, learning how to be a school counselor. We also have Miss Gwen Tilly, a counseling secretary who is also helps with records. And then we have Miss Lori McElroy, who is, who is our registrar. Graduation, see you at the 50. Historically, students graduate at the 50 yard line. This is a common saying that you'll hear around Winder Barrow High School. In order to see you at the 50, we have multiple graduation requirements that we would like to go over with you. So the total credits to graduate is 24 credits. This is the minimum um, credits that high schoolers will get. It has to be the right 24 though. That is key, that it does have to be the right 24 credits. So we'll start off with language arts. They will need four credits. Math, they will need four credits. Science, four credits. Social studies, four credits. Health and PE, one credit or they can take three JROTC classes. Pathway courses, three credits. Other electives, four credits and then a total of 24 credits to graduate. World language is not a um, Barrow County requirement, but it is a requirement for admission to most four-year colleges. So any student that is looking to go to a four-year college would need. Hi, I'm Corey Peppers, and I have students' last names A through E. So I wanna to talk to you about Sims Academy and dual enrollment. So Sims Academy is where um, Students that will be current 10th through 12th graders in the Barrow County High School system will take uh, upper level CTAE classes um, that will no longer be available to um, rising ninth graders. So uh, you can see some of the areas that students will access that um, if they're 10th through 12th grade. SIMS will house dual enrollment classes um, via Lanier Tech professors as we move forward. So dual enrollment uh, can start in 10th grade um, for students and you can take CTAE um, or potential like academic classes, uh, core classes and things like that. So students can access that through um, Sims Academy's location. And that campus will be located on Austin Road um, out past uh, 316. Bus transportation is provided from Wynderware High School um, at this time for students to access Sims and um, in the future for dual enrollment courses as well. So pathways, just to give you a little bit more um, information, of course, we've got some information there uh, from the DOE site, uh, as far as that quote that's there. Um, but really, it's truly for students to take three courses in one area to complete a pathway. I always have questions about um, how many pathways a student needs to complete, and it is one. So one series of three courses um, for, for students to earn that pathway. Um, pathways, I mean, there are multiple options within our system here in Barrow. Um, students can complete that through fine arts. And that can be art, band, course, drama, also added uh, music production this year, modern languages, French um, and Spanish, ROTC, or different CTAE classes. Just to kind of give you that, that kind of guide, um, you know, within our system, you know, you can see the different things that we have. Uh, with agriculture, 
Uh, construction, a lot of that is through linear tech. So like looking through those dual enrollment opportunities that a student might have um, in the future. Fine arts, again, adding that music production um, and actually a guitar class um, for this, uh, this school year as well as the, the coming years. Foreign language, um, hospitality, uh, that'll again be through linear tech. Um, audio video is coming back onto uh, Winder Barrow's main campus for next school year. Our business um, courses are taught here. Education and training, we have teaching as a profession, and then there's actually a pathway um, with early childhood education that will be uh, you know, really blossoming these next few years with Lanier Tech and has a partnership with Piedmont College. Um, health sciences is a popular one, allied health and medicine, um, the certified nurse assistants where you can actually get your CNA um, certificate through Lanier Tech. And then adding in there, the fire science EMS um, is another program that Lanier Tech is offering. Um, human services, we've had our food nutrition uh, courses here, uh, the government public administration for JROTC, and then our law um, and safety. We have uh, the corrections uh, classes and then also the forensic science within that. The robotics um, really will be going through mechatronics through linear tech um, as we move forward and then engineering uh, in that science and technology part. And lastly, transportation. Uh, again, through automotive technology would be accessed through linear tech. Also, so taking a look at freshman academic courses. So uh, those credits that Ms. Dean was talking about um, where students would need to, these are the subject areas that freshmen would be um, centering around. So that social studies unit um, next year will come from current issues, which will be more like a current events class. Um, so that would be a regular on level um, course for students. If you've been recommended for something higher, like that AP um, coursework, so there'll be AP Human Geography for students to take. Science will be Earth Systems uh, for on level, and then there'll be an Honors Biology. Uh, and then for English Language Arts, we'll have ninth grade Lit, and then there'll also be a ninth grade Lit Honors. For Mathematics, um, a few different options. Uh, there is a potential for foundations for um, algebra to be taught. Um, but more likely, you know, students will be uh, taking just a regular algebra course, um, perhaps with support if they get those accommodations or if they've been looked at for that math support area. Students could take um, Algebra 1 honors or if they're accepting the algebra credit from eighth grade, you could take geometry or honors geometry. Those honors and AP courses, you know, one thing we're really highlighting through this uh, message is that it's more rigorous instruction. There is more work, there is more reading, uh, more preparation by students, those expectation levels and things like that. Um, some will have summer assignments and you'll see the different flows um, to that as a student stays in honors or AP um, throughout the course of their high school career. Um, and then the weighted grades, the weighted averages that come from this, um, that is part of the, the benefit from taking these rigorous courses. Um, as you can see, an honors teacher there that we quoted, you know, student needs to be self-motivated, hardworking, consistently completes assignments and homework on time. Um, our ninth grade lit honors teachers, Megan Holt, uh, Ms. Teal, uh, that would potentially have a, a summer assignment with honors biology, Ms. Hunt. Um, you can see that there's no honors um, summer assignment at this point. Um, for algebra honors, uh, Ms. Laner will I have no summer assignment, geometry, Mr. Drummond, no uh, summer assignment. And then the AP Human Geography, we're still uh, to be determined on the teacher as well as the summer assignment for that. So I would just say, check the Weinberg High School um, site for more current information, or you can always contact us and uh, we can help you out with some of that information as well. An example for a freshman schedule would be uh, that of course you're going to take eight classes uh, per school year. That's what a block schedule will have. What we strive to um, allow a student to take is two academics and two electives. Um, that's what block schedule can offer and where we can go from that. So uh, what we'd love to see is you know a fall having two academics as you can see in this example, um, maybe a math, maybe a social studies taking that health and PE and then another elective that they're trying to take. Um, and then spring where you then we get that literature, that science, and then two more electives. Um, we do offer summer health and PE. Um, I would say that Bitly is no longer in use. I would say access our um, social media accounts to where you can 
uh, contact the appropriate person, which I believe is uh, Mr. Bradbury um, for the school year. So he can actually uh, forward you along the information that we need to for registration and sign up for that summer PE course. At this point, I'm going to move it on to uh, one of our other counselors. Uh, thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Granada Watson and I am the counselor for last names L through Q. And I, if you know me from prior years, I was also the ninth grade counselor uh, previously. So I definitely have a soft spot for my ninth grade buddies, but I'm here to talk more about uh, credits and how credits work uh, for freshmen. And so eight credits, pretty much every student takes eight classes a year, so four in the fall, four in the spring. So you're able to pass a class and get one credit in each class that you pass. And so in order to become a 10th grader, you have to have passed six credits in high school. So that means passing at least six classes your freshman year. Of course, we want you know everyone to pass all their classes, but those six credits are required in order to be a 10th grader. And you also need 24 specific credits to graduate at Winder Barrow High School. And so um, you can't just take, you know, 24 lifetime sports classes. You have to take 24 correct credits. And so a grade of 70 is passing and results in gaining a credit. So we have A's, B's, C's and not passing. But of course, is the goal to pass with just a 70? No, of course not. We want students to pass with flying colors, or at least to the best of their ability. And of course, final exams are a big part of classes. And so final exams are 20% of your grade. And then milestone courses count as a final exam, or the milestone will count as a final exam. So that is also 20% of a grade. So if a class has a milestone, then that will be the 20% final exam. But if a class doesn't have a milestone, then they will have a take a final exam uh, instead. And so some milestone courses that are offered at Winder Barrow High School. So you take a milestone course as of right now in Algebra 1, which is what usually most ninth graders are taking. And if you are taking biology honors as a ninth grader, you will have a milestone in there as well. And so moving forward, future milestones, again, biology, if you don't take that your freshman year. And then 11th grade, you have American Lit and U.S. History. So as you may know that milestone courses are definitely um, not as common these days. So we used to have econ, for example, but that's not a milestone course anymore. And then why focus on ninth grade? Such a great question. So as a ninth through 12th grade counselor now, I have a lot of seniors in my office that are saying, man, I wish I paid attention. I wish I focused in ninth grade on my grades because those grades will count towards you know, college applications, um, admissions, things like that. And so colleges will see freshman classes being taken. So um, if you end up failing, you know, biology, there colleges will see that, that you did that in ninth grade and that you had to retake it. And of course, any student that does not pass a graduation required course will have to retake the course. So the most common option is taking it through Foothills which is an evening education program where full-time students go, as well as students that will need to make up a class. And each class is $150. So a good alternative is just to pass it the first time. So you don't have to pay that $150. And then registration. So I'm gonna start off talking about how registration works at Winder Bear High School for classes. So as you may know, December and January, we had eighth grade teachers recommend students for classes in late February, February, we had a course reveal process so um, all the students can see the options, the classes they signed up for, their requested classes and all alternate classes. And you can kind of like edit and see what you need to, might need to remove or add from there. And in April, of course, this is coming out our virtual rising ninth grade night. So, you know, historically we've had events in the cafeteria for parents and rising ninth graders to come in and ask questions. But of course, this is virtual for this year. And then in May, a list of courses that students are going to be scheduled in will be released to families via their student. So it's not going to show you their actual schedule, but just see like, oh, this is the electives you're going to get. You know, you're going to get lifetime sports, health and PE, intro to law and intro to healthcare. But it won't say what teacher or when the class is. 
and then academic only changes will be considered in May. And if you need to sign a waiver to get into honors or AP classes, that will also be um, in May as well. And then July, so prior to open house, usually we have open house, um, I would say the last week of July, students come in, freshmen come in, get tours, things like that. So prior to open house, schedules will be available in parent portal. And the day of open house, hard copies will be available um, as well. And so that will be the uh, start of the uh, high school career for our ninth graders. Hey there, my name is Angela Bruce, and I'm one of the counselors at Winder Barrow High School. Um, so what I'm going to talk about are, you know, scheduling issues and also um, things to think about your freshman year. And so um, making your decisions is important in terms of the courses. And so, you know, you've already gone through the course rebuild process. And so basically what happens with course reveal um, is the courses that you signed up for. Um, you get to see what they are in terms of your required courses and your alternate courses. And so schedule changes after course reveal are pretty rare. Um, we do treat those on an individual basis, and especially as a freshman, you don't have as many opportunities to change courses as our um, older students do. Keep in mind that you have the opportunity to take 16 elective courses while you're in high school, so you might not get um, every course that you requested. Uh, you might not get the pathway course that you requested. You might not get your top choices. We will do our best to make that happen. However, keep in mind that we do have 2,000 students who are here at Winder Barrow and, um, you know, our older students do get um, priority in terms of being scheduled into certain classes. If you do need to make a change to an AP class, I'm sorry, into an AP or an honors course um, to override a recommendation by a teacher, then there is a process to complete and I'll show you what that looks like. So on the left side, you'll see uh, the course reveal form, and this basically shows the requested courses. So these are the courses that your teachers have actually recommended and the electives, your top electives that you've signed for, signed up for. And then at the bottom are your alternate courses. So these are the backups if we're not able to get you into the courses that you listed as your top choices. Um, on the right side of the page is a copy of our um, honors and advanced placement waiver form. So if you do want to move into a higher level course, this is a form that has to be completed and signed by a parent. The, in order to get this form, you'll need to contact your counselor at Winder Barrow High School and we'll send that to you. You can contact us by email. Freshman year is really important, so we want to point that out to you. The things that are um, Extremely important for you are your attendance, the earning your credits in all of your classes, and that you are engaged as a student. Keep in mind that once you're in high school, you are building your high school transcript, and this matters for your future. So you want to make sure that you have a good year, um, especially if you're planning on attending college in the future, then freshman year, um, those grades and those transcripts matter, and um, we don't want to have any regrets. So we are on a block schedule here and attendance is critical. So what a block schedule means is that you take four classes in the fall and then start four new classes in the spring. So each of your classes are 90 minutes long. Um, so you get a credit or a Carnegie unit in December for your fall classes um, and you get one Carnegie unit for each class in fall, so four total credits, and then one Carnegie unit in each of your courses in the spring, in May, for um, all of the classes that you took. And seat time is essential. So because the courses are only one semester long, you cover a lot of material in a class, in a 90-minute class. So being there, being present, being engaged is really important. Um, and just, just to point out this, research shows that missing 10% of the school year negatively affects a student's academic performance. It's so true, we need you to be there. If you're not able to be there for some reason, then you need to make sure that you make arrangements to make up your work. One of the things that we offer um, is advisement, and this is a way that we support students. And so advisement is part of your schedule. You will have the same advisor the whole time that you're in high school. Um, advisement is similar to homeroom. There will be planned lessons based on your grade level. Your advisor will review your progress with you. Your advisor is also a person who will consistently advocate for you 
throughout your high school career um, and a consistent contact for parents. You know, in addition, your advisor is going to build relationships with you. You're going to have a go to person that supports you on a weekly basis um, and somebody that tracks your progress in high school. You'll also have a counselor. Keep in mind that as counselors, we have caseloads that are much larger than advisements um, and our roles are a little bit different. But your advisor is a really critical part of your high school career and um, we want you to take advantage of everything that's offered through this program. Okay, last thing is um, it's really important to get involved. And there are so many ways that you can get involved at Winder Barrow High School. There's really something for everyone out there. So we have um, clubs and leadership programs. We have athletics, band, theater, career, technical student organizations, you know, things like Future Farmers of America, Future Business Leaders of America, Future health professionals, we have clubs, we have clubs like the Augmented Reality Club where they play Pokemon Go and do some other things like that, Student Council, Key Club, Gender and Equality Alliance, um, Yearbook, JROTC. So there are a lot of ways that you can get involved um, in high school and so we want you to take advantage of those opportunities. So it's a way to be engaged and also um, to uh, experience some, some of the best of what high school offers. So get involved and we hope you have a great freshman year. So what about after high school? As we know, um, our whole goal here um, at Winder Bear is to get you to the 50-yard line, um, but we definitely wanna make sure that you have the best plans um, for your future. We're gonna start with college readiness. So um, we always wanna reiterate to our freshmen Freshman year grades count. Um, a lot of times we see students get out to their senior year and they're like, oh, I'm gonna make all A's this year and they didn't do so well their freshman year. Um, and we want them to, to keep in mind that colleges are gonna look at ninth, 10th, and 11th grade classes um, before you even finish out your senior year. So again, those freshman grades are really important. Um, we really want our students to consider, consider taking rigorous courses. So let's say you've been uh, on in on-level classes um, up until this point, and maybe you're ready for like an honors level uh, history class. So if you think you're ready and um, parents, you think you're maybe ready for these classes, we definitely want you to consider taking those higher level courses. It kind of shows colleges that you are ready um, for higher level work. You're ready to challenge yourself in your environment. Um, and, but definitely remember to play to your strengths. So if you don't do so hot um, in a literature class, maybe don't take that honors literature. Maybe um, if you're really good with numbers, uh, looking more towards the honors math classes. Um, another cool thing that we have for our freshmen is the PSAT 8-9, um, which is taken in October. So when uh, our freshmen are sophomores, they're gonna take the PSAT for free. But as freshmen, they will have to pay a small fee um, about $15 to take a small version of the SAT. So it's really for that practice, get them kind of um, accustomed to the way the test is structured, the timing of it. Um, and that is administered at our school during the school day. It's typically around in October um, so that students can get that, that first feel of the test. Um, so unfortunately, dual enrollment will not be offered to ninth graders. Um, however, that is something we want to go ahead and let you be aware of um, so that when you get to your 10th grade year and beyond, you are ready to take that more challenging college course work. With the Hope and Zell Miller Scholarship, um, it's a great program that our state offers that helps send students to college um, financially. Uh, so the HOPE Scholarship is something we are constantly talking about from the time you're in ninth grade up until your senior year. It, it requires a 3.0 HOPE GPA, and it will pay for a portion of your um, tuition at your four-year university. Um, and it also requires that you take four rigorous courses. Um, so our curriculum is kind of structured that you will meet those uh, that criteria depending on the track that you're on. Um, so you don't have to think as much with those rigorous courses, but we will definitely make sure that if your plan is to go to a four-year college in the state of Georgia, that you are on the right track for the HOPE scholarship. Um, next, we have the HOPE grant, which is 
actually more geared to, towards the two-year tech school routes. Um, all that's needed is a high school diploma. So you're kind of mixing that, that GPA and we're really just looking at the fact that you've graduated from high school. It still pays for a portion of your, of your tuition at a two-year or tech school. Last but not least, we have the Zell Miller Scholarship. So this is kind of the top tier of the HOPE program. Um, the Zell Miller Scholarship requires that you have a 3.7 HOPE GPA, a 1,200 on your SAT, or a 26 on your ACT. It'll pay for 100% of your tuition on a four-year college or university. And again, those four rigorous courses that we will definitely make sure that you're on the right track for. Um, just keep in mind that, eighth, that high school credits taken in eighth grade do not factor into your HOPE GPA. So your first day at Winder Barrow is when we're actually gonna start tracking that HOPE GPA for you. So who do you talk to first? So when you're in high school, we're gonna always push that you talk to your teacher. You have a question about an assignment, about some grades, about makeup work, extra credit. We need you to talk to your teacher. That shows your teacher that you are invested in their class, that you're willing to work hard to earn the highest grade you can in their class. Um, so your email is going to be super important. A lot of times we have um, teachers that are running through Google Classroom who are sending emails to student accounts. So we need you to be checking your email. I would honestly try to check it maybe once, twice a day, um, you know, before school, after school to make sure that you're still up to date in your classes. Um, parents, please use that parent portal often. Um, it keeps track of student grades, attendance, um, all that good stuff that you should be kind of familiar with already, um, but just a refresher. Uh, many teachers offer help before and after school. Um, so again, emailing your teachers, talking to your teacher will help arrange those meetings with an individual teacher. Um, and again, emailing them, emailing them, emailing them. Um, our teachers are great here. They're really responsive and they love to help. So definitely take advantage of that um, while you're here. Um, what if you need help um, academically, social, emotional, emotional um, college and career, that's where you'll go to your counselor. Again, we are definitely gonna make sure that you're structured um, on that path, whether that's a four-year school, a tech school, um, going into a career field, the military. We're definitely gonna make sure that we're here to help. Um, but also sometimes we know we have hard days. Um, sometimes you need a place to sit and just breathe, collect your thoughts, talk. Um, that's what we're here for as well. So um, whatever you need to chat with us, we're definitely here. We're all really, really friendly as you've already seen. So um, we just wanna you know, get to know you, um, get to know your story and how we can help you on your journey. Um, students will schedule appointments at our bit.ly. Um, which you can see above. Um, and then parents can also schedule appointments through email or just calling your counselor at this number. Um, you know, if a, a student is in crisis, really having a tough time, they're more than welcome to just come into our office and just ask to meet with one of us and we will definitely um, make sure that they are taken care of. So again, our counseling website, um, you'll see a big red box saying make a, an appointment or records request. Um, once you make that appointment, it'll, once you click that button, sorry, um, you will pick your counselor um, and then make an appointment from there and we will meet with you. Um, another thing is go, kind of going back to those emails. When you make your appointment, it will send you an email or a text reminding you about your appointment. We do not often call students up um, if we don't have to. So that's gonna, that responsibility goes back on the student uh, to come to their appointments. Um, we also have the Wonder Barrier High School website. Um, this is where you'll find the teacher emails, their websites as well, um, just a quick way to contact them. You guys can also connect with us through Facebook, um, on the Twitter, and through our Instagram. And that's all. So thanks for hanging with us, you guys. We are so excited to have you here at Wonder Barrier High School, um, and we can't wait till next school year. Go dogs.